Hello there, this is uh, Barry and Alan. How are you? How are you doing? Uh, we're just going to talk about NASA space industry. The NASA space industry. Well, funny you should say that because there was Neil Armstrong. We've got Alan over here and my name is Barry. And we travelled on a special train uh, far away from planet Earth. And I actually did. And uh, I ended up in a town, which was a little town, and there was nothing else there. And it was a town, it, it, was, it was about that big, and there was nothing else there. Uh, the, when I got to actually the moon, which I thought was the moon, which I think it was, uh, the people were uh, sort of a high technology may I say, uh, robots that had a boyfriend and a girlfriend and they were running everywhere all over the streets keeping very fit indeed and uh, there was uh, a lot of aliens that lived here on the moon on the moon as well uh, they had certain names like Millie and Ellie and Relly and Belly and Kelly and Shrelly and Millie and uh, Dully and they were alien sort of thing but uh, I did actually go to the moon and uh, when did you go to the moon I, I, I got a train I got a train and I I ended up on the moon uh, these people were, were like robots they had special watches uh, great outfits they were into high technology uh, I, I know where the government offices are it was a wonderful place uh, and that was my experiences, but uh, I think in 1971 that you had Neil Armstrong that went up in, in a rocket to, to the moon. And Neil Armstrong was the first person that walked on the moon, one giant step for mankind. And he walked on the moon, there was, there's quaters in the moon, quaters, and you see him, because of the uh, pressure, you see him jump bounce and bounce a place but that was Neil Armstrong and he walked across the moon now the, the USA the USA are very powerful indeed uh, they send people up in rocket suits very powerful rocket suits so when they get to these other planets they don't bounce across the moon uh, these other planets trying to walk their suits allow them to live there and walk straight across these desolate planets and they're from the USA and th these suits that they wear are very powerful their screens on their face are very powerful glass the body and the armor of the suits that they the USA send the people to these desolate planets they actually walk across the planet and uh, yeah indeed indeed but uh, also, uh, they've uh, sent, did you know that planet Earth sends so much uh, rockets up to, to, to space that in orbit, there's loads of particles of uh, space rocket uh, material that floats around Earth's orbit. And if you look carefully, all around orbit, there's loads of metal particles floating around the earth from where the rockets went up into space. And uh, yeah, but uh, I, I, I myself, Barry M, have actually been to the moon. Uh, it was a city about that big and there was nothing else there. And uh, it was a wonderful place to be. They, they had some lovely technology. They, they ec exercise every second of the day and uh, also there was a lot of aliens living on the moon as well. Uh, I don't know where they've gone or what's happened, but yeah, it was quite a wonderful experience. Uh, and I, I, I slept for 20 years on the streets out there on the moon. I, I, I slept for uh, just over a year outside the government offices, three years in Kelsey Carriage, four years in Jimmy's Garden, over four years in the orchard garden and five years over five years outside winter comfort garden and that was all living on the moon you see 
Anyway, Adam, we've covered that a rat. Jump in now, then. Yes, please, Adam. Yes, please.